What's going on guys, Mr. Silver 2000 here, and welcome back to another Star Citizen video. So today, I wanted to cover something a little bit different. Gonna kinda take this all the way back to the beginning and talk about the basics. I've seen so many posts lately, I guess maybe uh, the free fly going on right now or whatnot, and lots of people, you know, talking about, oh my guy's thirsty, how do, how do, I, how do I drink, or where do I get the drinks at, or all kind of basic stuff like that questions about how to equip armor and weapons and attachments and just little things like that and that's what this video is going to be about we're going to go over just a few things whether you're a brand new player or maybe you're an advanced player maybe there's a trick or something i touched that you didn't know about though if you are advanced you probably do but we're going to go over all this anyways so first things first Eating and drinking. Okay, so here we are at one of your vendors, which for me right now, we are at her L1, and this is the, you know, your normal hot dog stand. You, you see this at a lot of the stations. This is a normal place that you see through the verse, and I thought I'd start by just going on with this. So, say your guy is thirsty. Currently, my guy is not. I tried to get my guy down on that, but it just wasn't working. It was just taking too long, so I'm going to go ahead and, and move along with this. So, if your guy is thirsty and you're showing you need water or food, when you come to one of these stands, it's super simple. You're just going to come up. There'll be You'll see hot dogs and stuff, and not everything can be touched or bought, but if you hit your F key and you scroll over them and they highlight green, it's something that you can do. So, we are going to come over here and we are going to start with the drink. So, here's a drink right here. Quick buy. That's all you got to do is click that quick buy. And there you go. You have your drink in your hand. You can see it right there. The drink. Left mouse button pops the drink. And there you go. You're drinking. And that's pretty much that. That is your drinking ability right there. Now, I am going to show you a trick here in a minute after I cover the eating section real fast about how to, like, store some drinks so that, you know, you always have drinks on you and stuff like that. But we're just going to take this. We're going to place it. We don't need it. There it is. So, here's our food. So, you just scroll over, the, scroll over your dogs. Same thing for eating. Same thing for eating. There's your dog. Left mouse click. And your guy eats it up. And there it is. And that's it. Nothing to drop. He just eats it. Consumes it. Your food goes up. And that is the end of it. So we're going to move along right now. That is the quick touch on a quick buy eating and drinking at a vendor. Again, just grab, quick buy grab quick buy left mouse click and you eat and drink and your guy will consume it now if you are wearing a suit do make sure that you pull your helmet off i'm going to step back here a little bit so you can see so if you have a suit on make sure you pull your helmet off it's easy you go in your, your hit i go into your menu grab your helmet drag it over to your inventory and it's gone just like that okay guys real fast with talking about the eating and drinking this is a little trick that I do when I come to any of the stations again we are at her L1 right now but this is the just the weapon shop your standard weapon shop and we're, we are going to talk about some weapons later but real fast a trick that I do when I get to a station like during the patches this is one of the first things I do I at least get to a place I will come up to the station and a lot of these stations, not everyone, like sometimes the armor doesn't carry it, sometimes it's the armor and not the weapons, but in this case, at this station, we have miscellaneous and we have these drinks. Now these particular drinks, which are like your smoothie type drinks, they increase your food and your water at the exact same time. And these are really what you want in game. This is what you're gonna pretty much keep on you the entire time. They're easy to come by. Look at what they cost. 
Now, instead of clicking quick buy, this is the one of the easiest things to do so that you always have a stock and you never have to come into these stations to do it. You just click on it, you come click buy over here, and then you just grab yourself a ton of them. So there we go. Look, I just bought like 30 or 40 drinks. I'm going to click buy. Transaction complete. We back up. I come out here real fast so I can show you in the inventory. And look, we just bought, now I have 71 bottles. And all you have to do is right click on these, click split, split how many you want to take with you on your trip. So you want to take five with you on your, your trip. There you go. Now you got five to take. And that's pretty much it. You can, you can, you'll always have a complete stock of, of food and drink with you. You can fly close to the station. You can just land and grab them and go. And you don't ever have to go back into the shops or look for drinks or scavenge for drinks again. We are going to talk about equipping armor now. So there are a ton of different types of armor within Star Citizen. There, you're going to have your basic, very light armor, light armor, you're going to have your medium armor, you're going to have your super heavy armor, all of which will be able to carry different size of your backpacks, which can carry different quantities. But let's, I'm, without going into that, we're just going to go into the basics of just getting your armor on. So you can walk up to these and pick the individual parts, buy it or try it on, but it's easier to see like the whole collection of what the shop sells by just going into the to the menu. So here is a ton of stuff that they have in the shop. And right now, we're just gonna pick something in completely basic, completely cheap, that's kind of like just an all around armor. So first, you're gonna grab your chest piece. So we're gonna do the PAB one core. We're just gonna hit a quick buy. Now you can go in and buy multiples just like I did before. But I just did a quick buy. We're going to go into the arms. We're going to do a quick buy on that. Then we're going to go to our legs. We're going to do a quick buy on that. And though this does not say PAB, it looks like the matching helmet that goes to it. And we're going to pick up that. So we have grabbed our legs, our chest, our arms, and our helmet, which is what you need. Now, you will need an undersuit. And you do come, your guy does come with a basic undersuit that is white. So you come, this is your basic setup that you, that comes with Star Citizen. When you first spawn into the game, this is your basic setup. Anytime you die, anytime you respawn, this will always be in your inventory as your undersuit and gear. But you can upgrade that. And that's what we're going to do real fast. We're going to go back into this shop real fast. We're going to come back in here we're going to click on undersuits from your category and we're just going to pick an undersuit now this is the undersuit that kind of matches the kind of look we're going for so we're just going to go ahead and go with that we're going to do a quick buy and now we have it now we have our entire setup and i'm going to show you guys how to equip it so hit your inventory button which is i on the keyboard it's going to pull it up if you're already in your suit you're going to remove it removing it is simple you can just drag it over back to your inventory, and if you grab the undersuit, it will remove your helmet at the same time. Or you can grab your helmet and then your undersuit. We are going to throw our undersuit on. First, you have to put your undersuit on first because the armor will not go onto a naked body. At this point, it doesn't really matter what order you go into. And you can mix and match armors. You can look like a rainbow if you want to. We're gonna drag our arms over. We're going to drag our helmet over, and there it is. We are fully equipped, fully ready to go with our armor. Backpacks. Do you need a backpack? I have not been running around with a backpack because I just didn't see any need for it. I normally just don't carry anything. Most everything I have goes on my ship. But just in case, we're going to run in here, and I'm going to show you just a quick backpack. So here is your basic backpack right here. I'm going to click that. Come back out here so I can show you the inventory real fast. 
we are going to take the backpack and if you drag it it gives you the little icon to put it on and there you go there is your backpack so as far as your armor goes you are ready to go okay so it's time for the weapons now let's talk about how to get these weapons equipped, equip some attachments. Again, we're just going to cover the basics on this. We're not going to go over firing them or anything like that. I just want to show you how to purchase and equip these weapons. Now not every place will have a weapon shop. Her L1 fortunately has a weapons and an armor shop, which is where I'm at. But some of the stations will only carry weapons, some will only carry armor. and. Luckily, this is the place that carries both uh, again. So, real fast, you can obviously browse these weapons and see what you like on the wall. Um, a weapon that I stick to a lot is I love the the uh, little P8 up here. It's one of my favorites. Um, shoots good, has good accuracy. So that's what we're gonna go grab. So we're gonna come into the store real fast. Remember, use the store. It has a lot more options. And we are going to go down and find that gun that I like, which was the P... I think I believe it's the P8. But let's do this. Let's 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 do this the right way, though. Right? We're going to come into the categories, go to personal weapons. There it is, the P8. And then you have you know a couple different versions of it right here. I'm going to go with the Night Stalker. So we're going to do a quick buy on this because I only need one. And then we're going to need, obviously, ammo. We're going to need a magazine for this. So right next to it is the P8SC. You can see how it's not loading in. This is a, a, a thing that's been going on for a long time with the menus with Star Citizen. Like when you click on something, it like makes them to where they're like dark and you can't see them very well. But again, this is you can read the, the title. This is the, the magazine with the 45 cap, which is what we need. Now, instead of doing a quick buy, we don't just want one, right? We want a bunch. And there are only 11. So... Come near, click the buy button. Once you touch, click on the picture, you click the buy button, and then you just buy some. There, I'm gonna buy 40, which is less than 500 UEC. You can make that in one box run. Way more than that in one box run. So there we have it. Now one more thing I'm gonna grab is, maybe we want a scope for the gun, right? So let's change this. Well, we, actually, we're going to leave this on personal weapons. We're going to scroll down to where we can see, like, the sights and stuff for the guns. Now, there are different sizes of sights. The P8 is a smaller gun, so it's going to be a size 1. But let's go with the regular Gamma Holographic. We just need one. We're going to go ahead and do a quick buy on that. And then maybe we will grab... I'm not sure if this site has it. See, that's a size 3, so that's definitely not going to fit on something that we want. We're, we're going to have to have like a size. This is like a size 1 SMG, so we would have to have size 1 attachments to go on there. But I don't see what I'm looking for in the shop particularly. I was going to say we could throw maybe a silencer or something on this, but I don't believe this shop has the silencers. So we're going to come out here. I'm going to show you in the inventory real fast. We're going to click I for inventory again. We're going to come out here. And we're going to grab our weapon and drag it. And you can see it gives you two different sides of the backpack because you can carry two weapons. Technically three if you have one in your hand. But being that we're in the station, you, you have to have them on your backpack. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that on here. Now the gun is gone. You see it removed from the... Uh, inventory here now ammo if you grab the ammo and this is something that it doesn't really go over right if you grab your ammo and hold the left mouse button like you're going to drag it to the body you see these slots pull up and it shows you on your belt you don't have to let them go it shows you where they're putting them on you just drop them let go drop them let go and when they highlight blue it means that your ammo is actually on your belt and there they are. And you can actually touch them now by hovering over them. Now, 
to put this last piece on our weapon, it's our scope. Now, you do not have to have this in your hand. You do not have to like try to attach it while the gun is in your hand. You can actually do it now. So you can grab this scope, and it will actually give you the spot to put the scope while your, while your uh, weapon is attached to your backpack. So you just come in here, you let go, the scope is gone, and as you can see, a little blurry, but the scope is now on your weapon. And you can see now by just hovering over just the scope that it's there. Now if you had a silencer, it would be the same, etc. But that's it, guys. That's how you equip the weapons and put your ammo on your armor. Now, if you're wearing a white suit and stuff like that, it doesn't really give you spots for to hold your ammo. So you have to. You, it's real important to upgrade. Now, you can have a mag, a gun, and a magazine, but you're limited on the amount of ammo that you can carry. Now, in our case, we have a backpack on. We can drop our water that we got into our backpack and we can grab our extra ammo and put it in there if we want or we can split this and say you know what we only really need 10 extra magazines since I got so much on my belt we split it drop the 27 back to our inventory and that's it guys we are loaded up ready to go do a mission ready to go do a bunker mission some PvP we got some light armor going on good undersuit a decent weapon some good ammo and this works the same with if you were bought a pistol, your pistol would go here on your belt and two of those slots you could use for pistol mags instead of rifle mags or maybe just one extra magazine for your pistol. Now as you increase your armor size, you can hold more slots for ammunition. If you go to a heavy armor, it might have eight slots for you to put weapons. You could run four assault rifle and four pistol mags. But that's all I got for just getting equipped. I know it's not a lot of information, but it is some basic st stuff if you're having problems. But guys, that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. It's just a few basics over the past few weeks. I've kind of been reading through like, you know, some Reddit stuff and some of the groups, Facebook groups, and I I've seen that these questions quite a lot. So it's just something I wanted to do. I want it was something I wanted to have added to my channel just to cover some of the basics of Star Citizen and how to do some of these things. I know that there is a tutorial built into the game now, which is fantastic. But if you've forgotten, you jumped back into the game and you haven't played that tutorial yet, maybe this will kind of help you get going. Maybe you're just stuck for a quick moment, need a quick look. I will try to break this video down into the sections for this. I know there's not a lot of information and it's very basic, but these are the highlights always guys i appreciate the support it's been amazing i'm gonna keep rocking this um you know i still have lots of hope for star citizen and as always i will see you guys on the next video